Guys, welcome. This is Denarius Lewis with Words Worth Listening Academy, DenariusLewis.com, training and building entrepreneurs for success. What I'm going to talk about today is going to be why people blame others for their own problems. And for some, they may be a touchy subject, but for me, I've touched, I have to touch the subject, mainly because from my past experience, I used to blame a lot of people for my outcome in life. I used to point the blame at them for making me do this and making me do that, making me go to this place and not realizing that any choice that they wanted for me, I agreed to it. A lot of people blame others for their problems. Um, I'll just give you a story in regards to my past problems. I used to be, I had a lot of people always bring me to the, invite me to go downtown, invite me to go party, invite me to go all these, these places that I, I sometimes didn't even really want to go. Surrounded myself around the people who always wanted to go party, have a good time. It's fun, but sometimes you don't want to. Sometimes you want to sit back and read a book, watch TV, or just relax. And my turning point was, Every Tuesday, I used to have a group of girls that come over, and they would always want to consume alcohol. And sometimes I didn't have the money to consume alcohol. Sometimes I didn't want to consume alcohol. Because, again, if I did last Tuesday, what's different from this Tuesday, from the following Tuesday, and the following Tuesday? Nothing. And they used to come over every Tuesday and just want to drink. Well, the thing is, they never brought any liquor. And what does that say? They look at the host. And who's the host? It's me. So I had to go out and get liquor for these these two girls that would always come over and drink. And sometimes I didn't want to drink. And I actually, one time they actually, they had one of my bottles and they were just passing my, my liquor bottle back and forth. And just leave me out of an equation. Now, now, nowadays, I don't, I don't drink. I don't, I don't. From that experience, it just turned me off from just realizing that some people are only there for the, for the, the situation that you can bring to them, but not the person that you are. Some people are just trying to are only there for the, for the, the party. Some people aren't really for the person who's hosting the party. And I, as my past, I just had to start realizing that. Some people are just meant. Oh, some people are just meant to be in your life just to use you. Some people are in your life temporary, and some people are just bad influences. Well, I used to blame. I I always would point the blame at them for making me go downtown and drink, and make me go to the liquor store and buy them liquor, and me drink with them on the days I didn't want to drink, and I had work in the morning and all this stuff. Well. <sighs> I stopped playing the pity party to myself and I started realizing that, hey, they didn't force me to go to the luggage store and buy liquor when I couldn't even afford it. They didn't force me to pick up the phone and answer the call for them. And they didn't force me to, they didn't force themselves into my house and say, uh, for me to play music and do stupid stuff and get drunk. They did it. Whose choice was that? And one day I just stopped, sat up and realized, That was my choice. What can I do to change myself? What can I do to change those Tuesdays? What can I do to change myself? Well, I blocked them out of my phone. I realized, hey, I have a smartphone. I can block people from texting me. Perfect. Because if a person is not responding to the text, they're, they're definitely not going to respond to you on a social media, a social network. They're not going to do it. So I blocked the person out of my phone. Life was better. Life got a lot better. I used to complain a lot about how I didn't like spiders, but I was living in a basement. When you live in a basement, you're going to have spiders. And I was killing about five spiders a week. Well, one day I got fed up. And I moved rooms in my house. I now live on the main floor of my house. And I don't have spiders. <laughs> so what does that say about yourself? Well, when you're willing to change something about your life, when you're willing to make the steps to change your life, your life will begin changing. And that's and that's just really factual. When you can change the way you think, the, the outcome of what you think and the way you live will totally improve. A lot of people are stuck in the past, are stuck about who they used to be, or, and are not driving and working for who they want to be.
It starts here, guys. You really have to empower your mind. You have to influence your mind to what you want for yourself. I used to be a very negative person, a very happy person, very positive person, but deep down inside, I was very negative because of the outcomes and the people I was surrounding myself with. Now, if I can't find anyone who influences me, I hang out alone, and I can't complain one bit. I love myself. So, what I'm just trying to tell people is just, if you want to change your life, you have to make the steps. Even if you don't see the steps, you have to start walking. And if you can't walk, you got to crawl. So... If I can change one life, I can change another. And if anyone thinks this is beneficial, just honestly, what you can take back from this video is when you can change your mind, you can change your outcome. And when you can put a smile on someone else's face, it's mainly because of the one on your own. So, again, this is Daenerys Lewis. Subscribe to my Facebook, all those Daenerys Lewis, any social media. You can just Google it. All those links will be posted below as well. Um, just DaenerysLewis.com, Where's the Listening Academy. Thank you guys for watching.